So let's get started with the product demo. Let me start by introducing all of the elements of the ecosystem. HP SitePrint is a suite of technologies that combine different components. The first element is the robot itself, which is the remote printing device. This is, in essence, a printer on wheels that will navigate through the construction site, firing ink in the right places. The second element is the robotic total station, which is connected wirelessly to the robot and provides accurate positioning information to the printing device. The robot is also connected to a control panel, which is used to command the HP site print. And finally, we have a set of cloud tools that are used to manage the entire layout process. Now that I've introduced all the elements, let me guide you through the end-to-end -end process. The first screen that appears is the status screen, which gives information about the battery level of both the robot and the total station, as well as other information such as ink levels of the printing device. In the left-hand side of the user interface, you have a menu where you can navigate to the Settings tab, where you can adjust settings related to language, measuring system, and choose from a broad list of materials. The Settings tab will help you create the right setup by selecting the material and the robot will adjust the amount of ink that is needed to be fired in order to accomplish optimal results. The next step is to load the CAD file that we've previously prepared. By clicking on the Load File tab, you can retrieve it from the repository. Once the file is loaded, you will be able to see the map view of the CAD. Let me show you an example of a parking lot that we printed during our early access program. The size was around 90,000 square feet that was printed in three days by a single operator. This is a job that manually would have taken at least 10 days with more than one person doing the job. As you can see, the obstacles are displayed in a red color on the map and the elements to be printed in gray. As we cannot print this 90,000 square foot parking lot in this demo room, let me load a new CAD file that's a representation of this robotics lab. Now we have the correct file that we want to print. You can see a representation of the different layout jobs, such as a drywall layout or formwork layout. Once the plot is loaded, we only need to select the area we want to print. By pressing the eye icon, we can select all the printable lines, and they will be displayed in blue. If we only want to print a portion of the plot, we can deselect everything and then just select the area that we want to print. By pressing just one line, we can easily select and unselect it. Once we've selected the area, we press the Submit button. In this moment, we are sending all this information to the robot. Once the information has been processed, the Print button is enabled and we just need to press it. Now the robot will run a small auto calibration process to ensure that it's receiving correct positioning from the total station. In this case, we're going to print an interior partition layout with the wall width, the location of a door with its arc, and some text related to the information of that door. As you can see in the user interface, there is a real-time representation of site prints moves the elements that will be printed are displayed in blue. The blinking segments is the one that is going to be printed next. And once it has been printed, it will be displayed in green. If by any chance a line cannot be completed, for example, due to an unexpected obstacle, it will be displayed in yellow for you to know that you will have to go back to this segment. This way you can keep track of what has been printed and what has not. As I mentioned earlier, SitePrint has obstacle avoidance capabilities to provide worry-free operation by just one user. It can avoid obstacles in two different ways. It will avoid all the obstacles that you loaded in the obstacle layer of the CAD file, but it's also equipped with cameras 
and cliff sensors that will detect any unknown obstacles to avoid collisions or fall-offs. One of the frequently asked questions from our customers is what happens when the line of sight between the total station and the prism is lost? This is something very common, especially when we have other members of the crew doing other tasks in the layout area, or when we work in a space with columns or pillars. Of course, line of sight between the total station and the prism is required, as this is the mechanism that we use to provide accurate positioning to the robot. However, if the line of sight is lost for a few seconds, the robot will keep moving in the same direction as it was and will automatically request the total station to find the robot in this area when it got lost. If, after these few seconds, the total station has found the prism again, the robot will keep executing. However, if after a lengthy period of time there's still no visibility, the robot will stop and start beeping telling you that it needs to be reconnected to the total station. HP SightPrint can also print text up to two inches thick directly onto the surface. This means that you can provide additional information to the job site that will help reduce errors by the operators who will come later to execute construction tasks. In this case, we will print information related to the door model that has to be placed in the space and the size of it. It can also print complex elements like dashed lines, arcs, or circles. This enables the possibility to mark additional information on the surface other than the traditional lines printed with a chalk line. Now that we're done with the drywall example, let's execute a layout for formwork. We will again select the lines to be printed and submit to print. The robot will again go through the self-calibration process and start printing. As I mentioned earlier, HP SitePrint adapts completely to the construction site. First, it brings the versatility required to execute all layouts at the construction site with just one solution. You can lay out interiors, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, formwork, tilt-up, HVAC, and much, much more. This is thanks to the broad ink portfolio that we've developed along the years as leaders of the printing industry. We have both water-based and solvent-based inks, so you could print on both porous and non-porous surfaces. You can execute layouts over concrete, pavement or tarmac, wood deck for formwork, and water-resistant surfaces such as epoxy. We also have inks with different durability. Some of them are permanent, and some of them will fade in just a few days. You can use the one or another depending on the application you're facing. And of course, we also have different ink colors for multicolor layout. You'll just need to swap ink cartridges as it can only print one color at a time. On top of the material versatility, HP SitePrint is very easy to use by anyone at the construction site. As you've seen, the user interface is very intuitive and the level of training required to operate this solution is very small. HP SitePrint is also robust enough to execute layout over uneven surfaces, such as rough concrete. Wheels are big enough to overcome floor roughness and obstacles about one inch thick. Additionally, there's enough clearance between the print head and the floor to allow the robot to keep printing even when tilted, as it will compensate the firing of the ink accordingly to get optimal results. Regarding the battery, HP SitePrint comes with two batteries that last for about four hours. So combining both will get you through the whole shift. We've already printed all the examples from the CAD file. As mentioned, this solution could also do layouts for mechanical contractors, plumbing, electric, fire protection, and much more. And finally, let me show you how you can easily transport the solution through the job site. HP SitePrint comes inside this compact hard case, which has space for each of the elements required to operate the solution. Now we first need to turn off the printer. And we remove the prism and the battery, and we place them inside of the hard case. There's also space inside of the case for a spare battery and 
for replacement inks. HP SitePrint is very light. It's less than 25 pounds, and it can easily be transported by grabbing the handle. SitePrint fits easily inside of the hard case, and once it's closed, we can easily transport it using these wheels. Now, we're ready to hand carry our HP site print to different construction sites around the world. With this last part, we have finished the product demonstration. I hope you've enjoyed discovering our new robotic layout solution. HP site print is here to help you increase productivity, getting digital layouts onto the floor quickly, accurately, and easily. I bet you're already thinking on possible construction projects where the technology can fit. So remember, we have available in the U.S. our Early Access Program. You can contact us and one of our team members will be happy to assist you. Thank you very much for joining us today.